It's the event city officials are calling a success. It's a far cry, though, from 2005, where we saw, you know, full on scale rioting. Of the estimated nearly 40,000 attendees, police issued a mere four arrests and 36 citations at Madison's annual event, Freak Fest. City officials say the majority of citations were issued for public intoxicants and underage drinking, and the four arrests were mostly for fighting. Alderman Scott Resnick, who oversees planning of the event, says more than 300 police officers were on duty patrolling the area, but that he was very pleased with the outcome. It was more than just a Halloween costume. There was live entertainment the, you know, the, with, with the music uh, and an actual event versus what it used to be. The city partnered with Frank Productions, who spent a significant amount of money on headliners such as Big Gigantic and Mac Miller. Officials say this partnership is another reason for the safe weekend. So I, I honestly think that it's that counter-promotion that's uh, allowed to us to have a fairly safe event. Madison City officials aren't the only ones happy about the weekend's positive outcome. Local bars here on state say the combination of Freak Fest and Homecoming brought in crowds of people and, of course, great business. A lot of people come into town from, um, you know, surrounding areas, surrounding cities, but then also Michigan State. So not necessarily repeat customers, but will definitely be good for business for the weekend. With homecoming, I would, I'd think so. I mean, it was a little bit busier this year, I think, than it was last year, too. I mean, as far as just free fest in general. Head of security at Whiskey Jack's Justin Schumacher says he did have to increase security for the busy weekend. Ten total, I think. Um, worked out pretty well. I mean, it's, so it's pretty crazy with all the people, but it worked well. We'll have to wait another month to see how the city did this weekend in terms of revenue, but officials say they hope to tailor back on the number of unnecessary police officers needed for future events. For the Badger Report, I'm Ellen Molina.